Hey Capricorn, this is going to be your um, summer love uh, bonus reading for uh, summer of 2019. To everybody, thank you for all your likes, subscribes, and um, comments in my previous video. So let's see what's um, going on with Capricorn this summer, Sun, Moon, and Rising in Venus. Capricorn in love. Underlying energy. Um, Capricorn, you have the world. And something has ended. Perhaps um, you've learned um, pretty much a good heap of lessons from your previous cycle or whatever undertaking you have um, had in the recent past. I think you've made it could it could be a very successful completion or it could be um, it could have been a painful ending but at the end you came out um, solid uh, solid and at the same time somebody who has learned whatever you need to learn in that cycle so for the summer are you ready for new beginnings let's see you have the moon you have the Page of Wands, you have um, the Nine of Swords, and the Knight of Cups. Oh, wow. <clears throat> With the Moon, I feel that you there are things still that probably um, are not pretty much clear for you. It could be about life in general, or particularly about this ending. Yeah, something is ended, and... And perhaps there could have been some secrets that you did not, that you may want to know, but, um, you know, there's no way for you to source this information out. Or things may have ended when honesty was demanded, you know, and then you may have kept it. So you let the ending happen for some of you. You may have let the ending happen. For the main reason that there are secrets that you decided to keep. Yeah? You're not willing to open up. Yeah? That is for some of you. All right? And um, <clears throat> I do feel that you're wanting to search for um, opportunities as to where you could probably have a new passionate or creative start. This could also mean you wanting to reach out to someone to probably communicate, um, getting into new endeavors, starting a new project. Yeah. But Capricorn, I'm seeing here that you have this nine of swords. So at the end of the day, you're still stressed, you're still anxious, you still have those sleepless nights. Perhaps you're thinking about somebody and what they think about you. And there are a lot of uncertainties about how, you know, how that connection or how that, um, how do they feel about you? You're not certain about it and that gives you more stress, makes you more anxious. Or perhaps this ending, although it has happened, Probably that is the ending that you didn't really expect. You didn't want it to happen. And then since it happened, you're now in the state of just feeling as though, you know, stressed about it. Okay. And there's this um, moving energy here. You wanting to make an offer to someone. An offer of... Um, to communicate your emotions, this could also mean um, an offer of apology. Okay, let's get more clarifiers for these cards to see what's happening with you this summer. Okay, so this uh, moon is clarified by the Ace of Pentacles and uh, the Empress. This could be you um, wanting to have a fresh start with someone. Someone that you consider as an empress. Someone who you feel that you can grow and um, um, expand a relationship with. 
is someone that you can see long term, someone you see um, who is abundant. For some of you, this could also be a mistress, you know. So you might be wanting to have that new beginning, or you may have had a mistress that's, um, that's something that you're keeping for some of you. And um, probably that's the reason why there was an ending in your previous connection, okay? Um, for some of you, what I'm getting here is that you're wanting to um, have a new beginning with, this could be representative of a Taurus or a Libra, but you're keeping it. You're not, um, you're not doing action about it. You're just keeping it to yourself. This could also be that you're wanting to have that, uh, there's this somebody you see as an empress that you want to um, have a relationship with, but probably for now, with this ending, you are letting things happen, but um, you're working towards uh, um, a long-term, you're doing some sort of long-term investment, long-term action, so that in due time, you can be with this empress. You're not talking to this person right now, possibly, because of the moon energy. You're just doing it in your own way, and in due time, you feel that you can get together with this person. Let's clarify what is this page of wands. <clears throat> mm. You are waiting for results, and then you let things be. I feel Capricorn that with this ending, there is this feeling in the summer that you're letting things be. Yeah. Although you're wanting to have an active start, a new beginning, but you're letting, there's this underlying energy that let things be. You're waiting for results, but you throw in your, your energies out there, and then what may come back will be yours. You know, you have that um, sense of if it, com if, if it comes back, then it's meant to be. Yeah. You are concentrating more on, on your pentacles right now, more so on um, investments probably, financial stability. And that could be, you know, this endeavor that you are uh, you're wanting. You have this page energy of um, getting into new business, new discussions, new community. Where you, where probably you could get um, more financial um, sources, you know. Let's clarify the nine of swords here. Mm. Okay, so this anxiety, Capricorn, I'm seeing that this could be the person you were dealing in the past that you may have wronged, yeah. And this is um, pretty much concerning you. This could also be that ending. You miss that person and you want to <clears throat> make things right with that person. But since things have ended, you pretty much um, have no clue right now on um, what to do about it. How to make things right. Okay, let's see what's this Knight of Cups here. Mm. Okay. So I feel that time has passed. You may, if this is the person you were dealing in the past or, you know, somebody that you may have disconnected with, time has passed. Probably you have healed and um, you have undergone your healing process as well as the other person. But more so with you, you have healed, time has passed, and um, now you're pretty much decided that this is the person that you want to be with. And that's why you're coming in with the energy of wanting to make that offer. To reach out to this person <coughs> in the summer. All right, Capricorn, I'm going to leave it at that. Let me know if this resonates and um, click uh, like and subscribe. And until next time.